Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to create a Postgres database. So first off what we are going to do is, um, now before actually diving into creating this database, I would like to tell you something that there are two approaches, there are two ways uh, to create this database. One is to separate the logic that is going to surround the creating the creation of a database and separate it into another different Python file. Because whenever we are working with Postgres in this application, we are going to interact with it through SQL Alchemy. So we either go ahead and create a different folder, uh, sorry, a different file for that, or we grab and provide all of our database logic within our application logic. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to separate the database logic from the application logic, and I'm going to provide the code for uh, database creation, database interaction in a different uh, file. But first things first, let's go ahead and let's initiate a Postgres database. Let's create a Postgres database and connect to it. Then we are going to come back to our VS Code. So let's go ahead to SQL Shell. Let me just put this right here, make it big so it is really visible. So I'm going to say localhost. The host is localhost. We have talked a ton about all of these configurations. I'm not going to cover them in depth anymore. Uh, I'm just going to go over them very quickly. So the port is going to be 5432. The username is going to be Postgres. This is the password. And now we are we are within our Postgres, Postgres relational database management system. Now in here, first I'm going to create a database and I'm going to say create database. Uh, let's name it blog poster. So this has just created the database. We can take a look at it as well. So we have our blog poster database, the owner of which is Postgres. Now we have created this database. Let's go ahead and let's provide the logic uh, or let's provide the code that is going to create tables and columns within our database. So I'm going to create a file and I'm going to call it, okay, not in there, just going to click in here. I'm going to call it database.py. Now in here, first we need to import some stuff. So we need to import the column, integer, string, and foreign key from SQL Alchemy. We need to import the create engine function from SQL Alchemy from ORM. We need to import session maker and relationship. And from the declarative, we need to import the declarative base. This declarative base is going to allow us to create as uh, database tables. So first we need an engine. The engine is going to be able to connect to our database. So we have create uh, engine. Now, what is going to be the uh, relational database management system? It's going to be Postgres. Don't forget the QL at the end. And then, uh, what is the username? It's Postgres. What is the password for that username? So that one, where is it uh, live on? It's live on localhost. What is the port? 5432. What is the database name? Blog underscore poster. There we go. Now we are going to create the declarative base as well. Now this declarative base is going to create tables in our SQL Alchemy. And then when we run it through the metadata, it is going to create database tables within our Postgres database. So they're tightly coupled. Now the idea of uh, classes, pure Python classes, representing database tables is not a new idea. We have the same concept in Flask as well as Django. So in Django and the previous uh, project, we talked about how we have model classes, which represent database tables. And then within those uh, classes, we provide the columns for that specific DB table. Now, the implementation is going to be different, but the idea is the same that pure Python classes represent database tables. This is just because uh, we want to abstract away all of SQL implementation. We know how we can implement it, but for the most part, for a Python developer, we want to abstract it away. 
So uh, I'm going to say topic, uh, let's say base, pass in the base. First, I'm going to create the table name. What is going to be the table name for this? Because this is topics, I'm just going to say table name is topics. Now, this class represents the topics table. What are going to be the columns? The first one is the topic ID. For Django, these columns were added automatically, but for Flask, you need to add them separately. So we are going to say column, okay, uh, column, and in here I'm going to say integer, there we go, and the primary key is going to be true. Then we have the title for each column, so for, the, for this topic ID we have a title column, which is going to be a string uh, of length 255. Now, I'm going to provide a string representation for our records as well. It's the usual thing that we've been doing so many times. So, let me get rid of this part and this part. So, it's going to be topic. And then, let me just provide the angle bracket. Then, we have our topic underscore ID, uh, which is going to have the index of zero and then right after that we are going to have our title which is going to have the index of one okay let's close it close the parentheses and the angle bracket and let's say format so first is going to be self dot topic id and then we have self dot um title there we go so this is our topics table let's go ahead and let's create the tasks table we're going to pass in the base now for django we had all the model classes they uh, they inherited from the model class itself from django but in flask we have this declarative base so the concepts are similar but the implementation is different first we are going to have our table name which i'm just going to call it tasks then we are going to have three columns. Uh, okay, so I could just go ahead because we have done this so many times. We have our task ID, topic ID, and description. Uh, task ID is the primary key, and then we have topic ID is going to be the foreign key. So this idea of uh, relational model in SQL is implemented through primary key, foreign key. So in the parent table, we have the primary key. In the child table, the same primary key is going to be called foreign key and then they're going to have a relationship through the relationship uh, class that we have imported so this is going to basically grab this topic that we have provided and this is going to establish a relationship with this topic class up above that we have and finally we are going to have the string representation which is going to be this one. So we basically say that it is going to be task description. Now, uh, this is the code. Let's actually execute it. So all the tables are created. Metadata dot create all. And what do I want to pass in here? I'm going to pass in here engine. This is going to create all of the tables. Uh, let's create a session as well to interact with our database. So I'm going to say session is going to be equal to session maker. Let's bind it to the engine so we know where it is going to, where the interaction is going to come from. And let's execute this session as well. Now, finally, to be able to add some records to our database, first we are going to check if name is equal to, if this current module is equal to the main module that we're working then what do we want to do we want to grab this session and we want to set it equal to the create session function up above now let's insert some records into our database so we know that everything is working properly uh, i'm going to provide the first topic which is going to be an issue so it's flask server issue topic and uh, the topic is going to have a title so the title is basically going to specify what the question is. It's going to say Flask, or the issue is Flask server is not running. Now this is going to be one topic. So 
a topic could have one solution, one task, or multiple tasks. That depends on the topic. Let's grab the session. Let's add the specific topic to our database and let's commit the changes. There we go. So this topic has been added. Now let's specify the tasks for this topic. So the tasks for this topic work in the way that for each topic, we are going to have a topic ID and each task belongs to a certain topic. How do we map tasks to uh, topics is through that topic ID. So in our tasks, we need to pass in that topic ID somehow, somewhere. So let's first grab the task class Let's say description, description, and uh, now let's say this is the first task or the first solution. I would like to say execute the uh, current Python script in the terminal. And then we need to reference whichever topic it is uh, that we have selected this task for that this task belongs to. So what topic is it that this is going to belong to? It is going to belong, belong to the Flask server issue topic dot topic ID. So this task belongs to this topic. Each task that the user adds or enters, it has to belong to a certain topic. And then let's add this to our database and also commit the changes session dot commit now after this uh, i'm first i'm going to run this file in the terminal so everything is executed database uh, dot pi hopefully there are no errors let's hit enter um okay create line 45 session it says type or create engine Oh, this is create engine. This is this has to be create session. Sorry, so it's, it has to be that one. So let me save that. Let me clear the terminal. Let's rerun this database. It it's not gonna have any result in the terminal, but if we come in here, and now we are within our Postgres database, right? So in here, uh, I'm gonna say let's connect to the uh, blog blog poster database now we are connected to this database let's take a look at the tables within this database so we we have two tables we have the tasks table and the topics table we can extract data from here as well we know the sql command for that so select all the columns from let's say the topics topics table so we we do have one task in it, one one topic one record uh, it's going to have the topic id of one and the title is flask server not running now if i select all the tasks we are going to have one task as well so we have task id one which which uh, topic id does this task belong to it belongs to the topic id of one and what is the description? Execute the current Python script in the terminal. So we have successfully created our database. We have connected to it from our uh, Python application. Now, what we are going to do next is um, we have we are yet to connect this database to our Flask application that we have. So first, we are going to connect it to our Flask application. Then we are going to retrieve data from the database and show it on the screen. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.